Hey everybody, good morning. Good afternoon, wherever time it is, what time you're watching this, good evening. Come on camera, catch up now. Hey, I thought, you know, sun's shining. Figured I'd uh, give it a go with them uh, Lakers. You know, last video, or the last video I did on the, on the big rig here, on the uh, 84 96 70 International cab over. Big cam coming, 400. Uh, it's a big cam three. Uh, 400 horsepower, uh, I think 1750 torque come from the factory that way Thought we'd uh, come back out here and try to if you remember I got these in the mail Thought we'd try to mount them today just see what they look like while they're on the truck so uh, One thing I did yesterday. I got a little break in the rain uh, and if you remember I was talking about having to drill a hole in the cab in order to accommodate this big nut so this sits flush against the cab right well I come up with an idea after I ended that video and I didn't feel like you know it, the rain was on and off and it was actually sprinkling when I decided to go do try this idea I had of taking two hammers putting this part up against the hole and banging the hole and that creating a concave circle show you what it did hopefully uh, I can do you I can do some justice on the actual hole yeah I think you can see it right there it's concave right in this you know, let me put this all right, that's all I did and that's all I had time to do was do that indent that inward to accommodate that space and uh, I like it uh, I did the same thing over here. I gotta, I'm gonna have to refeed these, but in order to test these, see what these uh, indicators look like, I'm gonna have to pull them out. But ain't no big deal. I can refeed them. Didn't take me that long. Yeah, I'm trying to get you a good angle there. Yeah, there you go. So that's all in concave. It's it's inward, so it'll accommodate that little bit of space that I need for that for that uh that nut so uh let's see that one that one's to the passenger side so oh and another thing here's the bolts that came out of the original blinkers they're good they're, they look nice but two of them i got to replace because they got broke well i decided you know in the barn we got some nuts and bolts laying around pieces and parts you know so i I went ahead and looked for some new bolts or one that I could use to add to the ones I already had. I needed two new, two. I was missing two. Two got broke in the process of removing the one from the driver's side. Well, look what I found. I found the exact same size in Allen. And I, I think it'll look just fine. Uh, they're nice and clean. I got brand new washer, lock washers for them and everything. So I got six of those. So uh, that's what I'm going to use to put them back on, put the new ones back on and no big deal. So now I need to figure out how to set you guys up. Well, I didn't think about that, did I? Hmm. That's a good one. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I think I'm going to end this video for just a minute here while I uh, think about this and uh, get it set up so you can watch me install this uh, blanker. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I got it all set up. I think this will work, so now you can watch me hook up my uh, my indicator. All right, this is going to be the driver's side. Uh, I guess I'm, if I'm going to have my camera away from me this far, I guess I'm going to have to talk louder until I get that microphone, which I got one on Amazon or picked out. I just got to purchase it. All right, so we got to feed these wires.
found my wrench I'm gonna need. It's temporary. It'll work for now. It's Allen head. I got Allen's. This one'll work for now. This ain't permanent. It's just uh, just to see what it looks like. go that's the first one what y'all think fits up there nice perfect perfect didn't have to drill no hole just had to beat that in just a little bit just enough to accommodate the head of that that nut and it, it worked out perfect can't tell on the outside that it's messed with it all or it's changed so i like it Now, I was a little concerned. It looks kind of bulky, don't it? It looks like it's sticking out there. But if you look at the, the uh, blinker in reference to the mirror, the mirror actually sticks out farther, so it don't look bad. It don't, it don't take away from the look of the cab over and make it look kind of goofy. So I like it. I like it a lot. And like I was telling you before, if you look at the distance between where I'm sitting in the seat and where that light is, this will be on all the time. Now, I haven't seen it on, so I don't know. I don't know if just the outside, I don't know if it's going to, I don't know how it's going to look when it's lit up. Kind of like, and the reason I say that is because on my motorcycle, uh, the outside edge lights up. It, it's, that's what lights up. And then when it blinks, uh, the center, the whole center blinks. And actually, I think the whole light blinks. Uh, but when it's just on, just the outside edge of the, of the blinker is lit up. So that's, I don't know how this one's going to look when it's lit up. But I'm sure it'll look just fine. All right, well, let's see if I can move you. I'm not gonna move. Let's see if I can move it. The setup over here, I'm using a, look at what I'm using for my camera stand. <laughs> hey, whatever works, right? All right, let's get my plate. Uh, gotta get it back just far enough. So let me put you up there, see how it looks. Oh, gotta move you over more. Oh, now I'm getting a little tipsy turvy on my ladder. Gotta be careful. Oh, gotta be careful. Ha ha ha, caught you that time. You guys almost fell again. There we go. Let's see how. Yeah, that'll work. Bring you down some. There we go. Now let me go get that other indicator. Now, just like the other side, I have to take this out. I'll have to feed it back down through there, but that's okay. Ain't no big deal. I did it once, I can do it again. I'm, I'm used to doing wiring. I've done a lot of wiring over the years, so ain't no big deal. Yep, that one fits up there nice and nice and tight. Uh-oh, my washer came off. You gonna stay there? Of course you're not. Lock washer came off. No big deal, we got it. Now this side, this side when I took the old one off, the, it, all three screws came out just fine. No problem, so. On the other side, on the driver's side, one of the inserts, the rear insert, is gone, so I gotta replace the insert. I'm having a little bit of a hard time with the measurement on that. Seems like when I look for them online, they, uh, they talk about the uh, quarter 20, which is the thread size, and then they talk about the length, uh, the length of it, and then they talk about the head size, but they don't talk about the, the tube, si the base size, the, the size that actually goes through the hole. That's the part I don't, I'm still trying to figure out.
Yep, that is nice. Nice and straight up and down. Let's see what she looks like. Yeah, that looks good. I like it. Now, once I get them lights up there changed out to LEDs, well, I'm going to light this thing up at night. Now, I got to hook up them fog lights down there on the bumper there. I got to hook them up. They're just sitting there right now. I got to hook them up and I got to hook up a uh, side. Yep, them four side markers that I put on LED. And remember that one that's gonna go up top, up there in the back, top back there, I'm gonna put one up there. So just picture that when all them get hooked up and wired up and lit up. Boy, I can't wait, that's gonna look nice. Way better than it did. Like I said before, just imagine the whole side of that thing, uh, the only thing that was lit up on the side, nothing, nothing. And the only thing that ever did come on was the blinker when it, you know, turned the right blinker on the right blinker, you know. Uh, that's it so all i had was the top lights they all work they were on and obviously the headlights and that's all i had on the front and then on the back the tail lights the two tail lights and all i got back there now is two tail lights uh regular trailer type lights uh and that's all the lights this thing had uh which to me is ridiculous i mean you got look at new trucks now they got side lights they got top lights they got all kinds of lights uh, a lot of drivers put extra lights on them which I, I i put extra lights on this truck right remember this is a work truck so i only add to it for two reasons one to make it safe and two to well i guess that's just the main reason right there to make it safe um and that to me that's safe uh i want people to be able to see it from the side um instantly not what is that is that, a, is that something moving up there? No, I want them to be able to see it. So that'll that'll do it. That'll, and I'm thinking about putting a, a light in the step. I see a lot of drivers do that. They put a put a little light in the step. Now, I wouldn't mind having something in there, but it's got to be a light glow, just a just a light glow. I don't want it to be an accent to the truck. Uh, just like I talked about putting lights in the back of the cab, I wouldn't mind doing that either. Wouldn't mind putting maybe four back there, two on each side. I can see me doing that, a little more light. But again, I don't want it to be the focal point of the truck. Um, I just don't. And uh, then, the, of course, on the tail there, I'm going to replace them with uh, the chrome mud flap hangers and center. There's going to be a center piece back there with, that's lit up too, um, and some nice mud flaps. And then I'm going to replace these mud flaps here yep right there because they're old and faded and cut so i'm going to replace those uh but yeah there we go look at that bad boy that's what it looks like now it's, it's led blinkers on it heck yeah heck yeah led blinkers i like it looks good looks good yeah that's gonna look good lit up and blinking heck yeah all right so that's what i did now what i gotta do is uh next weekend uh well probably not next weekend <sighs> weekend after yeah weekend after weekend after i'm gonna make a lot of video because i'm gonna put the uh leveling valve and the air protection va pressure protection valve i'm gonna buy them and put them on so that'll be a weekend after next um <laughs> and also, I'm going to have all the parts I need to wire up all these lights, blinkers, and the side marker lights, uh, all them lights. And uh, by about a week after that, I'm going to replace those ones on top, and then all my lights will be done. Uh, other than the expensive part, which is the back, that's about 300 bucks. Uh, but that's not counting the mud flaps either. That's just the just the hangers and the uh, centerpiece that goes in the middle, which you know. I might change my mind on that centerpiece. Might just get the hangers. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, it's a pretty good deal they got. Uh, I think it's three hundred and twenty-nine dollars for the whole kit. So lights come with it and everything. LEDs. Uh, so I'll probably get that. But that'll be later. A couple, maybe a month from now. 
I'll get that. That way I can wrap it up. The lights will be all done. And then I got to work on getting that plate off the engine so I can seal up that oil leak. And plus, I still got to fix this, these U-bolts. I got to put these U-bolts back on. Not those U-bolts, but new U-bolts back on and change the shock out. And I got to clean up this frame over here. So I got a lot of work to do, guys and gals. I got a lot of work to do. And uh, I only got the weekend to do it. So I'll be making video the whole time. Now, today I ain't got nothing more I can do. I sprayed that nut yesterday on that leaf spring. Uh, I sprayed that nut. Um, I actually did put a socket on there and just give it a go, but I didn't really try. Right, right. I just put some pressure on it. I really, what I was trying to find out was the whole is the whole bolt gonna turn. That's really what I wanted to know. And, uh, it did. So there might be some hope after all. I can't get my impact on there. Uh, so it's gonna have to be a socket, uh, a ratchet. to get that nut to bust loose, if it busts loose. Um, I'm gonna spray it again today before I leave for work tonight. And uh, yeah, and uh, hopefully, I mean, hopefully, hang on, I hope it, I hope it breaks free. Uh, that'd be nice, that'd be awesome. That'd make my job a lot easier. I still gotta get lift, 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 lift leaf springs, man, gum, up off the uh, axle so I can get the bolt out and replace the bolt with a new one. And uh, yeah, that's that's gonna be fun. But I'm, I'm all right. I mean, it's not that big. What I'm gonna do is uh, I'll put the blocks. As you know, I moved them to the almost to the center of the axle. Uh, I don't think you can see them standing up here. But I think you, if anybody, if you've watched my video, oh, there we go. Yeah, you can see them blocks sitting right there. They're 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 towards the uh, center of the axle. I'll just move them back out towards the end where I had them, and then I'll jack up the spring from there now something you got to remember that I, I, I haven't mentioned yet but what's the most important thing here hmm? I know some of you truckers are already thinking it uh, that axle cannot move even a sixteenth of an inch forward or backward right it'll change the whole dynamics of the truck going down the road right now the last time I drove it, before I parked it, before I took them U-bolts off, I could drive down, I could take my hands off the steering wheel and, and drive straight down the road. Straight down the road. Now you tell me what truck you drive and does it do that? Mm, mm, mm. Uh, so if I chain, if that axle moves forward or backward, even a sixteenth of an inch, it can change the whole, change that. You know, I, I won't be able to let go of the steering wheel. I'll have to get it aligned again. Somebody will have to straighten up, which I can do. I, I can take a tape measure and measure where it's at right now and then just make sure it's there when I put the U-bolts back in. Which, if you think about it, that bolt that goes right through the center, it, they, it's got to go right there in that spot. But I don't know what that hole looks like on top of that axle. Is there play in there? It, can the axle move forward and backward an inch? Or not an inch, but maybe a quarter of an inch, eighth of an inch? Either way, I don't know how big that hole is. I, I don't know. I'll know when I lift them lift springs up off that axle and pull that bolt out of there. So uh, there's some things we just ain't gonna know until we get to it. So uh, anyway, that's the main main thing right there. We cannot let that axle shift even a sixteenth of an inch forward or backward from where it's at right now. It's got to stay right where it's at, right on the money. So that's gonna be uh, something I have to be thinking about uh, the whole time I'm I'm working on it. But uh, that's what we got going next. Yep. So I ain't gonna go through it again. I've gone through it a bunch of times what I gotta do, but the next next uh, job on the agenda is getting these lights all wired up. Uh, the blinkers, the side markers, getting them all wired up and getting the top ones replaced. Um, then at least I can say I got one thing done. I got all the lights done, except for the ones in the back. So I'm looking forward to that. And then I'm looking forward to uh, hooking up the battery and seeing what they look like at night. Yep. So with that, I'm going to say farewell. Y'all have a great day, great night, great whatever it is, whatever time it is where you're, when you're watching this, where you're watching it from. We'll see you soon.